Cyclists are staging a demonstration outside the offices of a minicab company, a protest against the comments made by the firm's boss, which they claim are anti-cyclist. The offices are in Houston, and our reporter Marcus Powell is there with more details for us now. Marcus. Well, Addison and Lee find their offices under siege this evening here in Camden. There's uh, scores of cyclists who fill the road and actually staged a die-in protest on the street because of the rain. They've actually uh, raised themselves from the ground for the time being, but they've certainly uh, not raised their opinions of John Griffin, who's one of the directors here at Addison Lee. He made some comments about cyclists all having to go out and get insurance and get some training. That actually got interpreted as an attack on cyclists. He uh, mentioned that more cyclists meant more accidents on London streets, and uh, that was interpreted, really, as him saying cyclists were to blame uh, if they got themselves into accidents. It wasn't quite what he said. He said any old granny really could get on a bicycle and go out and if he, she swerved to avoid a pothole and somebody ran her down, that would be the motorist's fault. Well, of course, that's as maybe. He later apologised for somewhat inflammatory remarks, but he, he kept the tone going. He said anyone could jump on a bike in flip-flops listening to music and um, they would uh, routinely run red lights with not any care for anyone's safety. So he's fairly unrepentant. This is what he told us this afternoon. The cyclists will be at our premises at six o'clock tonight, throwing themselves in the puddles. So, and they'll be very welcome. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, freedom of speech is one of the tenets of our society. And I defend theirs, their right to say whatever they want to, whenever they want to. So, Marcus, we can see that uh, Mr. Griffin is talking with the cyclists there, very unpopular with them still, but also in trouble with Transport for London. Well, he is indeed, but you've got to hand it to him. At least he's prepared to, um, you know, front them up and come out and talk to them. And he's invited a couple of them inside. I think he likes a bit of controversy. He likes to make a few remarks. He said he wanted to get a debate going. He's certainly got that going with TfL because he's advised his drivers, three and a half thousand of them, to use the bus lanes, which of course aren't just for buses, but they can also be used by cyclists. Now, TfL have taken great exception to this, and they've gone to court today to try and get an injunction to ban his drivers from the bus lanes, which they should be anyway, even though John Griffin has said he'll pick up their fines. So we won't find out what's happened uh, with that injunction until Wednesday, but uh, clearly there's plenty of controversy. He doesn't mind courting it. There's plenty of cyclists who come here to tell him what they think about him. Ben. Marcus Powell, thank you very much.